Well, good evening, everyone. The lives of three families changed forever, and more than a year later, they're finally getting some closure. The man accused of killing these three friends on Bent Mountain will spend the rest of his life in prison. Today, Trevor Charles was convicted of killing 18-year-old Miranda Trump, 20-year-old Brandon Deekel, and 21-year-old Cole Kennedy. As we've reported, their bodies were found gunned down in a home in June of last year. Time News reporter Arisha Jones is live tonight outside the Roanoke County Courthouse. Arisha, you were inside today when he was sentenced. Before Trevor Charles, the death penalty is off the table, but he will serve three life sentences plus 13 years for his role in the murders. Miranda Trump, Brandon Deagle, and Cole Kennedy, all friends, were murdered on the same day in June 2018. Bruno County Police arrested Trevor Charles for shooting them with a shotgun in a home on Bent Mountain. The three families of all three victims looked on Monday as he took responsibility for the crime. How do you plead? Guilty. He pleaded guilty several more times for charges including one count of capital murder, two counts of first degree murder, and three counts for gun charges. Part of his interrogation video when he confessed was shown in court. I came to and I killed my friends. <laughs> His attorney says it was Charles's decision to enter into this plea agreement. He wanted to spare the families. Uh the trauma of a trial and going through it as well as his own. The Commonwealth's attorney worked with the families and law enforcement to make sure Charles is never released from prison. Uh, the families all expressed their desire for finality in this case and the agreement was entered, in, entered into with their uh, acceptance and support of it. A motive for what happened was not revealed in court, but during a preliminary hearing in August 2018, Charles said a voice named George told him to kill the three victims. The family of all three victims did not speak personally to any news organization today, but they did provide a collaborative statement. On 10 News at 6, hear how they're remembering the three. Live in Roanoke County, Arisha Jones, 10 News, working for you.